Hello. We are gathered here today to celebrate Claude and Gertrude's wedding. Again. Basically, they had a really small wedding, so this is a second reception for the people who didn't get to come to the first one. A reception where they don't have to feed people, I guess. Anyway, Marcy gave me the camera so she can help Frankie set up. And do you think that uh, Dana's odd behavior is because of love? No, sir. We've been hanging out with her planning this play for... Two weeks? Yeah. And she hasn't said anything to us at all about, uh, Paul's kid. But she still is behaving oddly. Stranger than she used to. I mean, she said that she was feeling... Distracted, and she won't tell us why. Mm -hmm. Do you think she told Rachel? Oh, no, Gertrude. I don't think so. I, don't, I really don't think she told anyone. I think she's talking to the camera. Uh, hardly enough for us to discern from. And I thought this play would help her. Let me talk to her. I'm not sure that that's wise. Claude, do you trust me? Of course, Paul. Well, I need not make a speech about my duty to you, or why day is day, night is night, time is time. To do so would only waste a night and time. Therefore, since brevity is the soul of wit, I will be brief. We have been skirting around the question of an exact description of your daughter's behavior. I think it is now safe to say that she has gone crazy, absolutely mad. Paul, the point? The point? The point is that it's a pity that she is crazy. But what remains is to find out the cause of this effect, or rather, the cause of this defect, for this effect defective comes by cause. Rosa and Gil here do not think that my son is the direct cause of her behavior, and they are among her closest friends. Now, she will not talk to Rachel. She will not talk to anybody. She surely will not talk to you or me. So, all that remains is for her to talk to Gertrude. Yes, that is what I was just saying, for God's sake. I don't want to leave you alone with her. She is my daughter. I can handle her. Ah, but that gets us to the point. Oh, now we're getting to it. When young Dana is speaking to Miss Gertrude, someone must hide in the closet and listen to the conversation. If something bad happens, they'll be there to intervene. Now, she will not know they're in the closet, so she will speak to her mother in peace. And was it not you, sir, who said most wisely, sir, that a daughter and a mother have the strongest bond there is, for they are bound together by nature? Yes. And Claude? Uh, don't you two have a play to prepare for? Oh, oh yes, yes, sir. Of course, sir. Rachel. Hamlet, I have to show you something. You are the best woman I know. What? I'm not flattering you. It's just that since my soul was master of its own heart, it has sealed you for itself. Okay. You take the good with the bad. You have the best judgment. If I could find anyone as emotionally stable as you, I would hold them in the core of my heart, just as I hold Hamlet. Anyway, I need you to take over my part in the play. Oh. You know the role, and I need to keep an eye on Claude's reactions. I don't know. I... Are you guys ready? Marcy, inform the others that Rachel will be taking over the part. <coughs> I'm sick. Good. You're lucky I like you. Thank you, York. Marcy, camera, with me. Oh. Hello, sweetie. Hello, Mother. It's so good to see you. You haven't been answering my calls. I'm sorry, Mother. How are you doing, Dana? Excellent, sir, for I eat of the chameleon's dish, which is to say, I eat the air. I'm afraid I, I don't know what you mean. Neither do I. I am so clever that sometimes I do not understand a single word of what I am saying. But I hope you enjoy the play, sir. Uh, please, Dana, there's no need to call me sir. Would you prefer your majesty the king? Uh, Claude, I... 
Understand your daughter is putting on a wonderful play. Uh, you used to act, didn't you, Paul? Yes. I played Julius Caesar once. I was killed in the Capitol by Brutus. It was a brute part of him to kill so capital a man. Alex, can I speak to you? Sweetie, come sit by me. No, Mother, there's something more attractive. Cheer up, Alex. What else should one do but be happy? After all, look at my mother. So cheerful, and my father died only a few hours ago. No, Hamlet. A few months. So long. Why do I bother wearing black anymore? Died months ago and still not forgotten. Then there is hope that someone's memory will outlive them by half a year. I hope this show is short. As brief as woman's love. All right, well, the show's about to start, so I'm gonna go. If this is where the monarchy is headed, count me out. Hello, and thank you for coming. Tonight's festivities are in celebration of Claude and Gertrude, who were just married. Congratulations. <laughs> now, we beg you to be patient with us and watch our humble tragedy. What ho, Rachel? No oh, way. Okay, we need to talk about Rose yeah, McGill makes such a good Mufasa and Sarabi. It's weird that those two never dated. Rachel, what exactly is going on here? I mean, I was wondering, are they queer platonic or- No, not with Rosa and Gil. I'm talking about Hamlet. What is she trying to do? I don't know. But there's a method to her madness. Um, did you see her last video with Alex and how she treated him? Yeah, I did. Do you think that that's part of her plan? Did you see what she said at the end of the video? The thing about... The you killed my dad thing? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Do you think it's a coincidence that we're putting on the Lion King? No, I... Hey, Marcy. Um, it's almost time for you to go on. Where's your Zazu costume? Oh, right. Okay, sorry. There! There! Hold on, Simba! Oh, Scar, this is awful. What will we do? What will we do? Oh, I'll go back for help. That's what I'll do. I'll go back for help! Dad! Scar! Help me! Long live the king. Lights! Turn on the lights! What's wrong, your majesty? Frightened? Ah. Claude! Claude! What? What just happened? I don't know. Claude King just freaked out. And it was right in the middle of your big scene. I know. Rosa and Gil, they went after him, though. Is... Is the camera still on? Oh, yeah, whoops. Let go of me! I need to talk to you. Alone. Really alone. No! You talked enough! You talk way too much! Honestly, you never shut up! Well, maybe if this one time you would man up and listen to me! Oh, fuck you! Yeah, new dream. <laughs>